Hello, my name is Glenna Stute, host of GLS TV, and I'm sitting with Chris Van Vliet. That's me. That's him. Yeah. Emmy Award winning TV reporter, entertainment reporter, more accurately. And now I get to hang out on Deco Drive every single night, 7.30. Are you a film lover? You've got to be, right? Of course. I'm a, I'm a film lover. I'm a film critic. I vote on the Critics' Choice Awards every year. So, like the last couple months, I've watched so many different movies. Let's talk about other things that you might be passionate about. You know, the girls might want to know some things about you that you may, may or may not want to tell us. For instance, boxers or briefs? Uh, boxer briefs? <laughs> Those are, I guess those are briefy, yeah. All right. That seems to be trending right now. Yeah. Uh, texting or phone? I mean, I think we live in this society where we're texting all the time. And phone, I mean, there's not, I'm never gonna like, I'm never gonna text my mom and try to have a conversation. Um, so there's a population of people you will only phone call. You have a conversation on the actual phone with, and but, mom is up there. That's mainly because my mom is not very tech savvy. So if I text her, I get like a little smiley face back. But <laughs> I think the cool thing about texting is you can have like six, eight, ten conversations going on at once. The bad thing about texting is uh, that it can be misconstrued because it's a nonverbal form of communication. That's really interesting. So you would consider yourself a multitasker. Oh, definitely. Are we all? Listen, I know I love men. I love you all. <laughs> Lift. But men are not the best multitaskers. Let me just tell you, it's hard for them to chew and walk at the same time. I don't know what men you know. <laughs> I'm doing like a thousand things at once. This is why you're a success. This is why you're a success. Uh, another, another common denominator of successful people. They're multitaskers. I think that you got to set a goal and then, you know, whatever comes in your way towards that goal, it's just a roadblock. Get to that goal. I like your style. Okay, so that leads me to the next question. Mama's boy or daddy's dude? Uh, <laughs> it's a mama's boy, I guess. I mean, I love them both dearly and they're still together, which is amazing after 40 years. Uh -huh. Uh, they've been together for, they just, they just celebrated their 40th uh, wedding anniversary, so congratulations, Helen wow. and Dirk. Wow, shout out to Helen and Dirk. I want to hear the book. The book is coming out what, soon. What funny mom and dad names, right? Helen and Dirk. Well, they did a lot right, raising you. Do you have a lot of brothers and sisters? I have, uh, I have an older sister, Kimberly, uh, who has uh, three kids, so I'm Uncle Chris as well. Aww, that's good. Yeah. So you're getting a lot of practice being a daddy. I Practice for what? <laughs> Okay, that leads me to my next question. When you in, you're in your 30s now, and you've accomplished a great deal up to now, and I know you've got a lot more to do before it's all over and said, like in your you know, 90s or whatever. In your 40s, where do you see yourself? I think my goal for my career has always just been being happy. Uh, if I can wake up every morning, be excited to do what I'm doing, be proud at the end of the day of what I have done, uh, then that's it. It doesn't matter what city that's being done in. It doesn't matter what TV show or employer or whatever. Uh, that's my goal, to just be happy with what I'm doing and proud of the life that I'm living. I like to live my life um, by this credo, practice the golden, the golden rule, you know, treat people how you want to be treated. Sure. Do you have a similar kind of credo or motto? I mean, that's a pretty good one to live by. I mean, do unto others as you would want them, you know, want done to yourself. Mm -hmm. I don't think I have like a, uh, I don't think I have like a catchphrase that I live by, other than like live with passion. Yes. Um, but I, here's here's one that I really like: is uh, it doesn't take talent to show up on time and work hard. Mm. I mean, it doesn't take talent just to show up. And there's so many people that hate what they do. Uh, it doesn't take anything to just show up and have a positive attitude. And if you have that, you've already beaten half the people you know that you're working with. So that's that's mine. Be positive. Uh, I like to say a lot in life, what's the worst that could happen? Mm -hmm. People are like, well, if you jump out of a plane, you could die. Well, that's the worst that could happen. What's the best that could happen? You You've know? got nothing to lose, right? You're right. exactly where you were before you started. Absolutely. Take a risk. Take yeah. a chance. And what you focus on is how you're going to feel. If you focus on negativity. Okay, he is spiritual. <laughs> this just did. That was, like, that was like Tony Robbins line that I stole there. So, Very, um, you got a little bit of spirituality going on there. Robbins is, he's the master, he's the yeah. man. So, you know, if you focus on negativity, you're going to get negativity. If you focus on positivity, you know, things are going to be positive. Mi gente, mi gente, my people. That's what that means. <laughs> oh my God, it's been great talking with you. I could talk with you all day. I know you have a lot of things you're heading on to do now. Um, do you have a little time for a little, like a tiny, tiny dance with a me? Dance? <gasps> wow. I can certainly try. 
I'm just kidding. He's up for anything. Wow. But okay, so part two. We're gonna be at the club. No, just kidding. <laughs> we'll be at live. We'll be at live. I, I always like to ask this question too um, of all successful people. If you could have lunch with anyone at all, dead or alive, who would it be? It's just one person. But I think that that would change like week to week and like month to month. Uh, I've been on a Tony Robbins kick re yeah. recently, and I mean, I think any day of the week that guy would be a great guy to speak with. In, in terms of just like having that positive attitude and setting life out, Mark Cuban I think would be fascinating as well. I mean, the guy is just a brilliant, brilliant mind, uh, and obviously incredibly successful. Like okay. when you talk about successful people, that's an actual successful person. I love walking yeah. success. Walking success. Um, so one person would be Anthony Robbins. Sure. Man crush. Uh, it's it's got to be The Rock. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Women crush? Um, hmm. I just interviewed Margot Robbie recently. Margot? Margot Robbie. You know, from the Wall Street? Oh, right. The blonde one? Oh, yeah. She's amazing. One. I think she's on everybody's mind right yeah, now. She's pretty great. <laughs> so it'll be Margot Robbie. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining us. It's always a pleasure. Until next time, stay positive, love your body, and love yourself. Bella, de mi tierra santa.